hear me in your earbud in your in your earbuds. If you can hear me, please give me a thumbs up or a little heart um, emoji just to let me know that you can hear me. Um, because of course we are having a few technical difficulties, which sometimes goes with the with it, you know. So we just it is what it is. Um, so today we are working on um, some wedding work. I'm actually working on an arrangement that is going to go on both the altar and on the buffet table over at the reception. She's going to have the wedding in both places, both I mean, she's going to have the wedding in the church. And so, um, the wedding's going to be in the church sanctuary, and then the reception is going to be in the fellowship hall. So, it's not going to be very far where she's going to have to move the flowers. And so, I'm going to show you a way to use flowers in two different ways, um, but it'll be the same flower arrangement. When you come on, please tell us hello. Tell us how you're doing today, and tell us where you're from. We love to know that. And if you enjoy this video, please be sure to sprinkle it so your friends can see it if you would like we'd love that um, I have Miss Victoria here with me so on both Facebook and YouTube you can comment or ask any questions and Victoria will be happy to read those and I'll try to answer questions as we go along starting with um, you can hear me Victoria yeah, can you hear me yes. okay <laughs> Victoria's like, I'm in my own world. So I am using, this is just a design dish. Um, it's just a, I believe that it is 10 inches in diameter. And I have taken two blocks of fresh floral foam and I've placed them side by side. I, I know you can see the tape here. I've placed them side by side and just trimmed off that foam. I wanted as much design area as I could get. And so, um, that's why we use two blocks of floral foam. We're going to start out. Hey, Robbie, would you do me a big favor and bring me um, the quick dip, please, ma'am? We're going to start out with some white hydrangeas. Thank you, Robbie. And so I'm going to use some quick dip on my hydrangeas and on my stock. I am going to start out, I'm not going to add greenery yet, we're going to start out with our flowers first. So what I'm doing is taking my hydrangeas and I'm removing any foliage that's on that hydrangea and I'm just kind of fluffing that little guy up just a little bit. Taking my floral knife, cutting that stem at an angle and dipping it in that quick dip. I dip it for about seven seconds or so and I am going to push that hydrangea right into that floral foam. We have a lot of hellos and good afternoon. Hello, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, Miss Mary Lou asks, how is Callie and her fa family doing? They are all doing very well. Callie came in for an hour or so this afternoon. Um, and we've talked about flowers and all of the things. And so she's really doing good. Thank you so much for asking. They're doing well. So I'm just going all the way around in this floral foam with these hydrangeas. And when you use hydrangeas, go ahead and remove that foliage, even though you don't want to. And why the reason we do that is because it keeps, it helps to keep them hydrated. They just are, are hydrated better. Um. Ms. Rona says, on YouTube, says, hello, I caught you live again. So glad you're here with us, friend. Um, and Olivia says, hello, what is the dip used for? Okay, so this is called Quick Dip. It is just a hydrating solution. So it just helps um, to, it's some type of solution that causes that water to go directly to that head quicker. Um, it just helps to keep them hydrated for longer. You know, hydrangeas, um, don't always stay as hydrated as they need to, so that's the reason we're using that quick dip. It's just an extra precaution, just an, a little added something to help us with their hydration. Um, Linda 
Jester asks, what is this arrangement for? I didn't hear it in the Okay, it's going to go on the altar um, at a wedding, and then it's going to be used for a the reception it is going to go on top of a um, an urn for the reception so i'm gonna i'm making it flat on this in this dish um for you to see it's actually going to sit directly on top of a um on top of a what am i trying to say <laughs> a column so it will sit on top of a column um, in the wedding, and then when it's moved to the reception, it's going to go on top of an urn. Sorry, my words wouldn't come. Hey, Robbie, I need another hydrangea. This one busted. Let's see if we can work Robbie today. I'm going to grab a hydrangea, Victoria, really quickly. Hi, Anita. Thank you. They are pretty hydrangeas. She got in some pretty ones this week. Sorry about that, guys. Robbie was in the cooler. She didn't even hear me. <laughs> um, Linda says, glad that Callie and her family are doing okay. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you. Please keep them in your prayers. All right, so there's our hydrangeas in place. Next, we're going to come in with some white stock. You know what? I am having a time. I'm going to have to call them on that stock because that doesn't look good. So we're going to go grab another bottle. Mercy, y'all. I'm sorry. Miss Liz, sending prayers to Callie and her family. Thank you, Miss Liz. Um, Miss Jill, hello from Florida. Hope Callie is doing well. Thank you. Um, hi, Miss Sandra. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Miss Margaret. I'm sorry, we're rushing around here, guys. Um, yeah, we got some white stock in from the wholesaler today, and it's just it just wasn't great. So. I, don't, I want it to be as good as possible. So I pulled five stems from the cooler. I'm gonna take my floral knife. I'm gonna cut that stem at an angle. I am going to dip the stock also. Now the reason is, is stock is not always, it doesn't, it kind of can get a little wilty looking. And so I'm gonna go ahead and dip the stock too also. Miss um, Lanise asked um, what happened with Callie. Um, Callie's mama passed away this week. Um, Callie, it, her mother um, was 86 and she, um, she just passed away. She had not been sick. Um, she actually had gone to the hospital for just a, she, she has COPD and so she had a touch of pneumonia, but I mean, had not, had not struggled with illness. She was in a care home over in Columbus, Mississippi, and they just called Callie and said that she had passed away in her sleep. Okay, so there is some white stock that I've tucked into this arrangement. Next, we're gonna come in with some blue delphinium. We have baby blue delphinium. And I'm following a picture. So if this looks odd, <laughs> it looks like something I have not done before. It's because I'm kind of following a picture um, that, that they chose. And Miss Lynn Lanise are sending their um, condolences. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Miss Sandra and Yvonne say prayers for Callie and their family. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, you kind of answered this. Miss Rona asks, are you designing the arrangement or do you have a picture to go by? Miss Rona, I do have a picture that I'm going by. Well, I mean, I, I looked at the picture, and now we're just doing it how we want to. <laughs> but yes, there was a picture that she showed me that she wanted. Um, and so that's what, what I'm kind of following. 
All right, so we have white hydrangeas, white stock, and baby blue delphinium. Next, we're going to come in with some blue thistle. Um, Miss Margaret says, I hope to be going home from the hospital at the end of the week. Oh, Miss Margaret, I'm so glad to hear that. I have been praying for you. Thank you for letting us know. So this blue thistle, I'm just taking, so you can see how I'm just kind of going all the way around in this arrangement. And I'm just turning my arrangement and adding the flowers all the way around. Uh, Miss Carol asks, what are the bride's colors? So she chose pastel colors, mostly white, with a touch of blue, a touch of lavender, and a touch of pink. So very, very pastel, which the white is the majority of the color. All right, so there is our blue thistle, our white stock, white hydrangeas, blue delphinium. Next, we're gonna come in with some white um, lisianthus. And I'm just turning and I'm just trying to go all the way around. Oh, Anita Green says, loving it already. Why, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Miss Margaret says, Monty, love you using the turning table. The turning table. <laughs> yes, I tell you, it is. it has been nice. You know, I've never used one in all the years that I have designed. I have never used the turntable before. Like so y'all talked me into it. Yeah, and Victoria loves it. Like Victoria will come, <laughs> she'll come back here and use it mm -hmm. to design with. Okay, so there is white Lizzie. Next, we're gonna add some white roses. So I have some pretty white roses. So these are called, um, these are called Eskimo roses. They're a smaller variety. Um, Miss Sarah on YouTube says, hi, the name of the flower you're arranging with now is, and I think that was when you were using the Lizzie. Lizzie, yes. Okay, so this white flower here, it's, it's right here. That is called Lizzianthus, and I'm actually going to use a touch of pink Lizzie also. Um, one of my favorites. Um, I say that about a lot of flowers, <laughs> <laughs> don't I? <laughs> I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> Dawn Miller says, please let Kelly know I'm thinking of her and her family. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, I sure will. Um, Linda Jester asks, how much for this arrangement? This is a $200 arrangement. And you'll be so proud. I went ahead and counted out my flowers mm -hmm. before I got started. Are y'all so proud of me? <laughs> they might be excited to hear your voice, Victoria. <laughs> they hadn't heard your voice in two days. <laughs> All right, so there is um, the white roses. All right, next we're going to do some pink lisianthus and some white spray roses and then some greenery. They're all saying, yes, we're so proud. Uh, they're so <laughs> glad to hear your voice. No, I'm proud. Of, I think oh, proud that I'm counting my flowers yeah. first. <laughs> we actually have matching arrangements, but when you do this arrangement, it's pretty easy to match it. You know, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just doing the flowers all the way around. And so I um, went ahead and pulled the flowers for both arrangements. So that it would be easy. Uh, Linda Becker says this arrangement is becoming beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
And Miss Linda Jester says, love this arrangement. Miss Becky says, so elegant and lovely. Thank you. Oh, Miss Jill, thank you. I miss y'all too. <laughs> they missed your voice, girl. Um, Rona asks, does the Lizzie come in different colors or do you have to tint them? No, the Lizzie does come in different colors. It comes in most often pretty pastel colors. It does come in a royal purple. It comes in shades of pinks. It comes in whites. It comes in like a soft yellow. So there's the pink, the soft pink. And then it also comes in like variegated colors. So it comes in like two tones. Um, which is really actually very pretty. And then it comes in a soft lavender, a royal purple. Not a whole lot of colors, but, but it does come in other colors. Um, Jane says, so beautiful, the bride will love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Kimberly Skinner says, hello from Oklahoma. Arrangement is going to be beautiful. Abigail says, it's fabulous. Thanks, guys. I'm just loving it. I'm so glad. I was kind of concerned. I didn't really know. You know, I'm so used to putting my greenery first. Okay, so there are the flowers. This is just a little bud. I'm sticking him in. He doesn't really have a flower on him, but... Okay, so there are all of the flowers in the arrangement. Next, we're going to come in with some greenery. So, I have you here, but I forgot. I'm really doing good today. I have run back and forth a dozen mm -hmm. times. Y'all forgive me. Okay, Thank you, Miss Marianne. I'm glad to be back with y'all. I'm very thankful for Robbie for filling in this too. <laughs> Um, Linda, Jester, I love the remake of the artificial arrangement you did on YouTube. Oh, good. I'll have to tell, I'll have to tell Monty and Owen. Yes, it's, it's pretty. I'm seeing it. It's been quite a day, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got all the greenery I needed. So, what we're going to do to fill in is I'm going to use some... Israeli Ruscus. <clears throat> so Israeli Ruscus is a dark green foliage. So I'm going to take it and I'm actually going to cut it in half. So I'm going to use it in two places. And I'm just going to go deep down into this arrangement to disguise that floral foam. So I'm just cutting it in two pieces. Um. Rona asks, when you have a special order, can you get the flowers the same day you order? Um, so, no ma'am, not really. So how we do that is, we just tell them up front. It really just depends on exactly what we need. Um, we will tell them up front, we cannot get that, we won't have it until tomorrow or the next day. Now I can get things overnighted to me, but the problem is, is I have to do that early in the morning. Um, most of the time, we really don't have anybody that just has to have something. Um, we can usually somewhat substitute with what we might have in the shop. Now, we do have a wholesaler that's about 30 miles away from us, and we can go to the wholesaler and get some flowers, um, but I usually do my best to sell them what I have on hand. Um. Carolyn Lawson says, beautiful, who is who who are you making this for? So this is a wedding. So this is the um, this is an arrangement that's going to go on the altar. And then it's going to be used in the fellowship hall for the reception. Oops. Okay, so I have taken this Israeli Ruscus and I have added it to the base of the arrangement, kind of tucked deep. Um, to cover up that fresh floral foam. So you can see how it's kind of, it's kind of got some pretty greens now. Next we're going to come in with a little bit of baby blue eucalyptus. So look how pretty that eucalyptus is. Now when you use baby blue eucalyptus or spiral eucalyptus, you'll hear it called, um, this is the eucalyptus that gets your hands kind of sticky um, and it smells so pretty. Is our camera going out? Did it go dark? Well, it has um, the 
a low battery on it. Okay. Which is crazy. I don't know why. I'm just about finished, so it won't take but just a minute or two left. Okay, so what I'm doing, can they still hear me? Yes. Okay, <laughs> before I keep talking. So I'm just taking this baby blue uke. And I'm just cutting it in small pieces and just tucking it throughout this arrangement. Okay, this one's done. Okay, so do you want to move that one up? Yeah. Okay. I've told you we're having some difficulties today. Here, we're having the just a few. Picture may go out. So. Can they still hear me? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Um, someone asked. I think it was Miss Marianne. Let me see. Um, she saw the boutonnieres from YouTube this morning. Are yes. they for the same wedding? Those boutonnieres are. Well, we have two small weddings. And so um, the boutonnieres for this wedding were the boutonnieres with the, um, the spray roses. Bless it. They are just so patient. <laughs> I'm so thankful they're patient with me today. I am so sorry, guys. I tell you, all the technical difficulties, right? Okay. It should be coming back. Let's see. There we go. Are we back? Yeah. Okay. Yay, we're back. Okay. We're back. Okay, so all I've done, guys, is added a little bit of this spiral eucalyptus to this arrangement. And you can kind of see how what that did for us is gave us a really gardeny look. It just made it bigger and a little bit showier. It gave us that pretty gardeny look. Um, and so I'm just taking these stems and I'm cutting them apart. And they are a little hard to cut. And then I'm stripping that foliage on the bottom. And that's what gets you sticky. Um. They really like it. Thanks. Um, let's see. Miss Mary Lou says, this is beautiful. I'm surprised you did greenery last. I <laughs> know, right? Um, but I really didn't want it. You know, I am the world's worst to overdo greenery, right? You've seen me. I can overdo greenery. And so, because I didn't want to put too much money in the greenery, I wanted to put the money in the flowers. So I didn't want to overdo the greenery. So lastly, what we're going to do is add a little bit of this willow looking you. And we're going to finish it off. And I'm going to show you the reason we're going to finish off this edge. So I'm going to come all the way around the bottom of this container. And we're going to add this drippy eucalyptus all the way around. Oh, if I can get it to go in. In, friend. There it goes. Um, Miss Carol says, wow, this is a showstopper. I Thanks. love it. Thanks. I'm so glad. Um, Sweetbar says that light blue delphinium is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Um, Dawn says, you can really see the arrangement with that background. Oh, I'm so glad, Dawn. Thank you. Um. So I'm just taking this eucalyptus and I'm just breaking it into smaller pieces and I'm coming all the way around the base of this arrangement. And I'm going to show you in just a second why we're doing that. Uh, Miss Jill asks, will you, will you be showing us the bridal bouquet? I will. I actually did this bride's bouquet on um, a video for YouTube and Owen will post that tomorrow. Uh, Miss Mary Lou says, well, it's just stunning greenery. First or last does not matter. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. All right. So let me show you. So this is how the arrangement will be placed um, at the wedding itself. There will be a pedestal a white pedestal, and this arrangement will be seat, will be placed on that white pedestal, okay? So it's going to sit on um, on each side. I'm not, ex I think they're gonna have candles and different things. Um, so 
This is going to be placed, um, there's going to be two of them, so they'll be placed on each side. I'm trying to slide this off. Um, Miss Marianne asks, do you have to move these arrangements after the ceremony or is the family? Moving? I will not. This is actually going to be in a church in Grenada, Mississippi. That is a good ways away from us. So I'm going to actually deliver these tomorrow evening to the church and um, so that they will be in place for all the pictures and all the things tomorrow. I mean, on Saturday morning early. And then... Um, they will just move it after the wedding. But the reception's right there in, at the church, so. Um, Joanne says, I just wanted to thank you again for the watermelon wreath inspiration. I loved it so much I had to make it, and I sent a couple pictures through Messenger for you to see. Thank oh, you. Oh, I'm so glad, Joanne. Thank you for sending the pictures. Thank you so much. I am excited to see them. Okay, so here's the arrangement. It is finished. Now let me show you. So this will be placed directly on a uh, pedestal at the um, for the wedding. And let me show you. So I'm gonna slide this Lazy Susan over. And it's dripping some water. So this will be placed, this, um, this urn will be placed on the food table at the reception. So they will take these arrangements and they are just going to place them right on top of that pedestal. And these arrangements will be used in the reception for the food tables. And so you can see how my greenery kind of drips. They will be pulled out. So what we will do is we're going to deliver them flat over to the church and then um, place them in their place for the ceremony and then we will place the urns on the tables for them to be able to um, put them on when they have the reception. So that is going to be our finished arrangement. I may add just a touch more height with some more of this um, eucalyptus. I just think that would be probably just a touch more height. But overall, I think it's going to be perfect. Um, they're saying it's beautiful. Um, Susan says you are truly an artist. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think that little bit of height helped. Um, Linda Jester asks, you're going to arrange all the flowers at the church? Well, everything is, has already been arranged, so there's not a whole, whole lot. It's not a very large wedding. Um, there are several, um, we've done all of the bridesmaids bouquets. We've done all of the corsages and boutonnieres. Really, these two large arrangements were the main thing that was left. Um, but we only have the flowers to wear, the flowers to carry. We have these two arrangements, and then we have um, bows for the doors, I think that's it. Um, cake flowers. So we have the cake flowers just in a vase of water. Um, but it's a very small wedding. Um, it's not very large. Um, but I think it'll be beautiful. It's going to be very, very sweet and, um, and very pretty, I think. Um, but again, it's very small. It's not going to be a whole lot of setup. It's not going to be, I mean, everything's put together. We just take it and drop it off. Um, and it'll be the same for our second wedding. So we have two, um, and both of them will actually be delivered on Friday. For the one, um, for the second wedding, it's actually going to be here in town, and we have the, um, we have table centerpieces and then the flowers to wear and to carry, and that's all we have for the second wedding. So honestly, I really like a small wedding. It doesn't take a whole lot of work, yet you still get to design beautiful things, and so that's fun, um, but I really like something that's small and, and simple. Um. I don't see any more questions. If I missed anyone's questions, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I promise I'll go back this evening and I will um, I will answer any more questions you might have. Guys, thank you so much for being here. 
Thank you for being patient with crazy me. Um, it's been one of those afternoons where it's just been crazy. Um, it's just been crazy. <laughs> we've been working on weddings all afternoon. I had to go and pick up some stuff for Bible school. So we've just been crazy. So I apologize for not being um, completely prepared when we started this video. So thank you for being patient with me. Guys, if you have any questions about how we do things at this flower shop, you know we want you to ask those questions. You can do that in the comments here um, on both YouTube or Facebook, or you can send us a message in Messenger or send us an email. We get a lot of those too. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful evening and we 